Millage rate, the MO uh, millage rate, uh, county millage rate will be 12.917. And um, I'm going to turn this over to our finance director, uh, Brittany White, uh, in the event that she uh, may have any additional comments. And then we'll be ready to take any questions uh, that the board may have. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Um, I did also want to just review the whole county government budget as a whole. So we do also have other funds that we do include in our budget book, which include special revenue funds, capital project funds, and enterprise funds. And our total county budget comes to $104,587,269. And I have um, all of the information we've discussed in prior meetings available. So if there's any questions, just let us know. Thank you. Um, at this time, um, this is a public hearing. So at this time, we're going to, uh, it is approximately 608. And at this time, we're going to move into our public hearing, um, at we, which we will allow citizens to come and speak um, for three minutes about the budget, whether you be a for or against tonight. Um, but tonight, we're going to start off with those that are for the budget. Um, if you would come at this time and state your name, your address for the record, please. Those that are for the budget. Those that support the budget. Thank you. That portion of our public hearing is closed. Now, also, we allow three minutes for those that want to oppose um, this budget. You may come at this time and please state your name, your address for the record, please. Those that want to oppose the budget. <clears throat> Anybody want to oppose the budget? Uh, thank you. That portion of our public hearing is closed as well. Um, Commissioner Edwards, you have anything that you want to say about the budget? Uh, yes, sir, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. All right, I'll be brief. <clears throat> I, 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 want, I want to once again commend Brittany and Lloyd on the working on the budget and responding to um, many of my requests. I, I, I think it's important that everyone knows that a budget, uh, especially, it took me took me a year to figure that out, but a budget especially in a, a government budget is a is a matter of, of compromise um i learned that in my first year as a commissioner where whereas i voted no i believe on my first budget because i didn't like it right so and then the constituency my constituency gained nothing from a no vote from me uh so so i tried to from those budgets going forward i tried to to uh um add or, or, or pr propose 
um, propose different budgets, more to my to my way of thinking. And I believe, um, I, and I've consulted with the other commissioners, I've consulted with the chairman, county manager, our finance director, and I believe over the last several budgets, we've been able to to reach a more amicable solution, especially for the citizens of Newton County. So while the, the, the budget that we uh, eventually will approve will not be the <clears throat> it stands personal or commissioner uh, district one's personal favorite. It, it, it will represent some of the, the ideology and some of the nuances that I would prefer on behalf of my constituency. So compromise budget, I believe, um, is not what you always want, but it's better than what you started with, in, in my personal opinion. And I believe we've reached that point with this budget, and the, and the last couple of budgets, by the way, but I believe that's the point we've reached with this budget, and I, I would commend everyone for their their teamwork, <clears throat> their, excuse me, their teamwork. I really do appreciate, uh, once again, Lloyd and Brittany for putting this together for us, and uh, um, I believe we've reached a, a budget that we can all live with. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Um, Commissioner Mason, uh, we are making now comments about the budget. Um, if you have anything you want to say, uh, this is our final budget hearing, um, and no one came to speak for or opposing the budget. So now we're at our commissioner's um, comments, and uh, we are at our commissioner comments, and if you would like to make comments at this time. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I do want to acknowledge Lloyd and Brittany. I think you guys have done a phenomenal job with um, all of the <laughs> budget meetings that we had to go through and the budget hearings that we've had to go through. Um, and I think we have done a phenomenal job with doing our, met, our best uh, to meet um, all the needs uh, of our citizens. Uh, I think they will definitely be pleased with what we've come up with uh, we've had an opportunity to meet everybody's needs as well as um, being able to um, basically do the rollback, which hopefully that will positively impact our community as well. And so I just want to say um, thank you to Lord and Brittany for doing a phenomenal job. Um, I'm in agreement with this particular budget, and um, I'm looking forward to moving ahead. Thank, thank you, you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, sir. Uh, Commissioner Schultz. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So this has been an interesting budget because we've had to deal with COVID-19 in the midst of the budget was the original department heads made their budget requests prior to COVID-19. Then we had many of our hearings on Zoom calls, which was, you know, it, it was a, that was a different experience and um, then we came forth with, uh, or you came forth with a budget that we were still not comfortable with. But what was impressive was the fact that you heard us, you went back to the drawing board, you came up with a budget that we could all live with and you know, I, I'm really proud of that spirit of um, teamwork. As Commissioner Edwards said, there's a lot of compromise. And, but, but I do believe that compromise is not a bad thing at all. That's, that shows strength. And you brought us something that we could show the strength of this board, and I really appreciate that. I'm very comfortable with this being my last budget to approve. And I feel very good about what we've come as a group to agree upon. Um, I will say that, um, you know, last week when you came forth with those last positions that could be rolled over into the next fiscal year, that really, solidified my vote on this budget because I I am concerned that all of all of these new positions are not something that are just about the amount of money that we're voting on for this year 
because next year they'll all be at 100% in terms of the full year. And so then you have to also deal with the benefits and the step plan that goes with that. So I was really pleased with the last olive branch that you gave us on this bu budget. And, and I appreciate the sheriff as well for giving that because it, it just, it, it meant a lot to getting a good budget that we could, that I was comfortable with and I know that um, Commissioner Edwards was comfortable with. So thank you. Thank you. Um, Commissioner Henderson, um, this is our final public. Uh, thank you, Mr. <coughs> our final, um, sorry, this is our final public hearing, mm -hmm. and uh, we open it up for citizen <coughs> comments. No one came to speak in favor. No one came to speak opposing, um, and we are making our commissioners comments. And right, need. correct, and and, um, and I was somewhat kind of aware of it, and, and thank you. Um, this was a, uh, a budget, I think, that we were given several other, several budgets. Uh, one of the, I think, in my opinion, one of the downsides were that we as a board, we didn't have as, as much hands-on as possibly we should have had because of the fact this is what really we are elected to do is to uh, uh, figure out a budget that will provide services uh, to our community, and, at the, and you know, and you would think that uh, at the same level that we all enjoy. And then you add just a little bit more to it, uh, due to COVID nineteen, that uh, you know we uh, understand that the families have less, a little less, a less, a lot less than they normally would have had had it been just a, a regular a year. And so. There was a test that we were doing that we were given, and you know, and I and I thank our Lord and our finance director for just you know helping us. But I just felt that we should have had a, just a little bit. We should have had more of of hands on hands on in this particular budget. I was a little bit concerned. I tell you, me, and you know, and. It could be a uh, two sides, 100 people on this side, and 50 on this side, 100 on that side, so for or against. But from my perspective, it's sitting around the the, um, the horseshoe is that this is, in my opinion, not a time for any type of increase in the budget, whether it's rollback or whatever. And I think our last meeting, if I remember certain right, maybe I can be corrected, but uh, Commissioner Calvin said that we didn't do a rollback last time. We did not. In fact, the last pro budget prior to I abstained and the chairman voted uh, for the budget. If, if my memory is serving right, the budget before the end, we did a rollback. And that was well, uh, one of my concerns to it was then, was because I felt like I was saying, well, hope it's not a tax increase. Then, then you, you read it on front page, big bold letters, and then go, you read on it, so where you, it did get some, or some of the people, most of the people, did get an increase in their taxes. And um, I just think this is just not the right year for that. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, sir. Um, Commissioner Cowan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, <clears throat> Lloyd and Brittany, I appreciate everything y'all have done. You stay consistent with the, the uh, strategic plan. And uh, in many ways, you've met and maybe even exceeded my expectations in there. So I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, Mr. Kerr and Brittany, thank you guys for a um, excellent job you did on this budget. Um, a lot of hours have been spent in this. I know it has. Um, Brittany coming in, I think this is your official first one that you did. Um, and so um, kudos goes out to you. Um, I just proved you the right person for the job. So, hey, congratulations. Um, is there anything you guys would like to say? I just appreciate all the kind comments tonight. And you're right, there was a lot of hours spent in this book, but I think like y'all said, we've come to a compromise and I'm comfortable with this budget. And I think if y'all are comfortable with this budget, we're headed in the right direction. And I too would like to thank you for all your kind words. 
And I also would like to point out, don't forget the chairman's part in all this. He was right there with us uh, a lot of the time. And whenever we had uh, questions about things, um, we went to the chairman and he did give us great guidance on where we needed to go and on uh, what we needed to do. So um, it's a team effort, all uh, us and the chairman and all of y'all. All of your feedback has been extremely valuable. All of the work on the part of the um, department heads, uh, the other elected officials, the constitutional officers, and really everybody in the county um, has a part in this budget. Um, sometimes I don't always see what their part is, but I guarantee you that everybody has a part and they do their best um, to try to be good stewards of what the taxpayers in this county give us. So and we thank them for that. Thank you, sir. Guys, there's nothing else. Um, I seek a motion that we adjourn. Been, been motion um, by Commissioner Schultz and second by Commissioner Mason. All in favor? Commissioner uh, Edwards. Aye. Thank you, sir.